what an emotional night for Sheffield United. What a time to be a Sheffield United fan. How about if you're a Sheffield United fan that then became the Sheffield United manager and has just overseen that tonight? Here's Chris Wilder waiting to speak to us. Congratulations, Chris. Cheers, Can you Dave, put into thanks. words how proud you are of your team tonight? Yeah, the old football club, you know, uh, to, to, to host a game like this, the magnitude of it, and to, to play well and get a win. Yeah, we were under enormous pressure second half, but I think we limited, limited them to a to few chances. And, uh, you know, we backed up a, a good performance of a good result, and we didn't for four or five weeks ago against the European champions. And we wanted to make sure if we played well against the top sides, we have to get something from the game, and, and three points is a, a great reward for the players. Was this then the game plan working to perfection tonight, Chris? We can't open up, you know, I think it's absolutely crazy that people think that we can just open up against Arsenal. You saw two or three times first off how quickly they counted and what ability some of their players have got where they've skipped round our challenges as if they were not even not even there. So we had to make the make sure we had got the balance of in and out of possession and I think we did that. You know, obviously getting getting ahead gave us something to hang on to and we defended manfully and as I said, Dean's made a couple of saves really, but we've had a couple of chances as well, so you know, maybe, you know, it's just tipped from the, the Liverpool performance and, and, and the game where we maybe should have got something and the other way tonight where we, we, we deserve to get something. Chris, you, you've said about not opening up, but how pleased were you at the actual football that you played, especially first half? And I said at half-time, it wasn't just a, a battle and performance. You know, football to Arsenal. I think that... You know, if, if, if people had watched us in, in the championship last year and, you know, we, we tried to play, we tried to play our own way. We wanted to stick to our identity this year. We, we knew we, we had to, to tinker and, and, uh, and alter the, uh, the approach in certain, certain areas and key areas, and especially in the middle of the park. You know, we played two midfield players last year. We knew we couldn't do that this year. Uh, but I think we've got the balance right and, uh, you know, we've not been as clinical as we should have been, you know, with the chances that we've created. And, yeah, we try, we try to play when, when we can and we just, you know, we try to win a game of football, whatever means, you know, and if it has to go long, it has to go long. If we have to try and break the press, we'll, we'll break the press. And, uh, you know, we've got some talented boys that have been on the journey from, from, from League One and now they're, they're playing the trade in, in the Premier League and, and Arsenal at home and, and, and winning. It's, as I said, not the, the biggest result in the club's history, but it's a, it's a fantastic one and great reward for everybody uh, connected to the football club because it's been quite a difficult journey getting to here. Chris, you mentioned about having the extra midfield player uh, coming into to the Premier League. Do you think when you're talking about getting the balance right in terms of actually trying to get more goals, do you think at times this season you will go for the actual sort of attacking player behind those front players? I think there's a, there's a, there's a time and a place, but, you know, we have to look at every game for, on, on its merits and, and that's what we've tried to do. And, you know, defensively we're solid and you said, you know, we, we want to go forward, we want to, we want to drive their best players back, but knowing that, you know, the, the, just the difference in the championship at the top of the pitch, I mean, absolute incredible players that, that start and then come off off the bench, like even even tonight, and when we played at you know all, all the games that we've played, so you know we have to we have to make sure we get get that get that balance right. But you know this was obviously always going to be a, a game where we had to make sure that defensively we, we all did our jobs and kept a really good shape, shape behind behind the front two. But you know still wanted us to, to to go forward, and I thought we had some you know some decent opportunities as well. And you know as I said, delighted with the the, the general play and the balance of the play, and and, and obviously you know made up that we got a result because you know I said about the, after the Liverpool game, you know some a lot of good things said about us, but we've walked away with no points. So you know we're, we're not talking about plaudits. We want we want points, and it's a big three points for us tonight. I get the impression though, Chris, you're not surprised by what you've seen tonight. Did you think there was maybe a little bit of vulnerability about Arsenal coming into this game? Well, uh, listen. You know, what, whatever was put in front of us, we we've got to go and go and go and attack. So, you know, of course, people look at the stats and the away form as as, as not being great. But you know, with Sheffield United, as I said, you know, two promotions in in three years, and uh, and we're up against some real big hitters in terms of you know quality of manager, quality size of the football clubs we're playing. You know, we wanted to go and take the game to them, and we felt we did it. Said against Liverpool, uh, and we and, and we certainly did tonight, knowing that you know really they have dangerous players, especially on the counter attack that can hurt you. And then they've had a couple of chances first off, so maybe you know we're we're obviously you know quite happy that they've, they've, they've not scored. But I thought, as I said, I thought it was just a real good all-round performance from us, and uh, and obviously the atmosphere at, at the end drove us forward to get a, to get a big three points. So nine games in, you're into the top half. Um, we've all seen what you're capable of, so what are the ambitions for this season? 
Seriously, you know, every game we're going to try and get something from, you know, and, and see where that... T- and I know it's quite boring from, from me being a, a, a Yorkshire guy, you know, with a, with a tracksuit on, but that's where it's at. We're going to every game, see if we can pick something from. Uh, and then, you know, accumulation of points. If it's good enough to keep us in the division, that's fantastic. But, you know, we have to make it difficult for teams to come in. We feel we have done in all the teams that we've played, you know, Leicester, Southampton, Palace and Liverpool uh, and, and, and tonight. And, uh, and that's the question of those teams that come to Bramall Lane. You know, if, you, if you're going to win, you're going to have to play really well tonight. And, uh, you know, we're up for the battle. You know, it's, it's early days. We're, we're delighted with the points total that, we, that we've got. But yet again, you know, we look at the next few fixtures, West Ham away, Burnley, Burnley at home, who are doing fantastically well, and then we're away at Spurs. So, you know, it's a brilliant fixture list, but, you know, we, we don't just want to make the numbers up and be there for people just to easily, you know, pick our pockets, and I don't think we have done all, all season. They certainly haven't. It's been great to watch tonight, Chris. Thank you very much. I think you've earned yourself a greasy chip butty. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, Dave. Thank you.